Hey, it's Tom here, Mr. Excitement, TechBait.net, Crypto Blogger. Here we are, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. It's not just about Bitcoin, it's crypto, cryptocurrency. I like this little graphic here because it shows Bitcoin inside the phone, which is like, you know, electronic device. It kind of conveys that it's, it's virtual, it's not real. You know, you get these other images like this, which... You know, when you're, they're pretty, but when you, when your average Joe or mom and pop, whatever, looks at this, they get the idea that Bitcoin actually is a physical coin, that you can buy a Bitcoin that you can hold in your hands somewhere. And really, uh, we all know that's not the case, right? Um, you can't go buy a bunch of coin, physical coin, with the B in it. You, know, you could probably buy some sort of <clears throat> metal round or whether it's gold, silver, copper, whatever, but it wouldn't be Bitcoin. It, it wouldn't be worth what a Bitcoin's worth. It would just be some, you know, decorative memento, right? It's not really a Bitcoin. So when you see these things, they're, uh, they're kind of misleading, right? Um, so you go back to the to the phone. There it is. That's a little more realistic, isn't it? It's virtual. So um, anyway, TechBait.net, the news site, updates regularly. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Okay. Um, looking through here, it says the Winklevoss brothers win crypto exchange patent. That's interesting. I didn't even look at that article yet. Uh, these guys crack me up. They're like, um, they own Gemini. Uh, that aims to settle exchange traded products holding cryptocurrencies. <coughs> I do just love those early summer colds. Um, so there you go. That's what you could go read that article. I'm not going to go through that. Um, Get it before it rolls off the site. The site updates regularly. Um, Bitcoin Lightning payments are slowly becoming less reckless. Former Trump advisor, we will have a global cryptocurrency. I think the, the weird punchline of that article is, but it won't be Bitcoin. Who, who the heck knows? Um, uh, ICO fraud, always interesting. Ethereum is destined for greatness despite SEC scrutiny. This this one's kind of interesting because it talks about how, um, once again, there is no physical coin, right? <laughs> you know, they talk about all this ICO stuff and the SEC scrutiny, you know, like that that meeting mix-up at the beginning of this week. and um, But they go on to say... Uh, a $2,500 per Ethereum is a high probability by the end of the year. Um, and no one really knows. These are just, but, you know, it depends. If we get a bull market, even 2500 it could be more. Um, but that's a conservative estimate. ETH USD pair struggling near 100 SMA. Tron completed that airdrop. Uh, ahead of its mainnet launch. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Tron. Um, I, re I don't have really any to speak of anymore other than what my trading bot has accumulated. We'll see whether or not I end up sorry for that. Um, at one time I had a whole bunch of Tron and a whole bunch of Verge, but these, these things have been very, uh, I don't know, I started to consider it a risky investment, and I, 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 I made a profit on both, but... Uh, I, I really wanted them, you know, I, I had, I was able to get thousands of these things, and but I rolled them into other things that I considered less risky, um, like V-Chain, you know, which I think in the long run will prove to be a coup. Uh, here we go, Bitcoin buying is like trading turds, that's Charlie Munger, he comes up with some good ones, don't he? Um, Wall Street's embrace of Bitcoin will help boost the cryptocurrency, trader says. 
yes, they're all tripping over each other to have these Bitcoin exchanges and crypto exchanges, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, etc. <clears throat> but yeah, Buffett, Gates, Mungers continue to, to you know, throw bombs at it. Um, <clears throat> Rich dudes are running out of insults for Bitcoin. Yeah. This one here. Prices drop towards 9000 as analysts offer stark warning. I don't, I'm not sure what the stark warning here is. Um, this is the street.com. Um, no, I don't want to watch a stupid video. I hope that doesn't start auto-playing. Uh, ah, something's going to play, isn't it? This is my yeah, here we go. I hate these ads. You know, having ads is one thing. I have ads on my site. But these autoplaying video ads are just beyond annoying. They're intrusive. Um, first crypto analyst goes cautious. Yeah, here we go. More fun. Carlos said the most widely held cryptocurrencies have started to lose their fundamental appeal. It's come down quite a long way. We're getting a lot of people asking, is now the right time to buy? The short answer is now. I, I, don't, I don't get it. They lose their fundamental appeal, but everybody wants to know when to buy. Because basically, it's oversold, almost, or it is. Uh... He's talking about the run up to twenty thousand was a bubble. <coughs> you know this this I, I don't get this. I mean, look, I guess anybody could be right, but he said the cryptocurrency space has become a waiting game, and it could remain as such for the next three to five years as investors regain interest when Bitcoin becomes more real world applicable. This is complete garbage. You gotta be kidding me! I mean, it's just. Uh, let's see what happens next week before you start talking about three to five years, pal. Ugh. You know, all, all these exchanges, these stock exchanges are, are fumbling to FOMO in, and, and this guy's talking about three to five years before it becomes... It's three, three to five days or three to five weeks is more likely. I mean, ugh, I just, I don't know. Um, you watch. All of a sudden... Then the news articles start, and before you know it, they're all going to be FOMOing back in. And, and look, I'm not a big fan of FOMO. I, I don't think uh, um, irrational exuberance is the best way to go. I was throwing that term around during the run-up in uh, December and January. Uh, irrational exuberance, the Greenspan uh, quote from the dot-com boom. I think it was the dot-com boom, wasn't it? Um... The Binance CEO says ICOs are necessary. Yes, he did say that. And he did talk about how it's a lot easier than traditional VC. So there's a lot of good news out there. So get in over to TechBait and check that out. All right. Um, uh, I'll tell you, for me, I created this, this site with this these feeds. And uh, it provides me talking points no matter when I want to shoot a video. So for me, it definitely serves its purpose. Um, you could do the same thing. Um, there's nothing, uh, nothing, uh, you know, you know, specific here. I mean, I've talked about specific coins already that I like, like Beachin and uh, Zilliqa. I mean, you've got Zilliqa's at 15.156 right now. Uh, I think I got it at 0.15 and then it went down to 0.13 and now it's at 0.156. It's a long term thing anyway. Um, and then there's, uh, I'll tell you, ontology. I, I wish I had more to put into the market, like fiat, because this, this stuff's great. Um, but honestly, VeChain is the one that's getting most of my new. I mean, look at this. It's it's hovering under five right now. Under five. This thing is so pathetically undervalued. It's not funny considering all that they have and all that they're planning to do. And 
the RFID chips and just the potential here to bring companies into this and when they go to their own blockchain soon. The, the fact that this is, I mean, even at $10, this would be a strong buy, uh, in my opinion. But here, you know, just a few days ago, it was over five. You know, a few weeks ago, it was under three. Here, it's under under five dollars. Uh, you know, this is just an amazing opportunity. And those who don't take advantage of this one, man, you are missing the boat. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, please. But check out their website. Check out their play and their white paper. Man, if you miss this one, you are going to kick yourself. Just like those who missed Neo. And this thing is probably better than Neo. Because right? what really is Neo? I mean, I like Neo. I have Neo. But Neo's pretty much just a Chinese Ethereum. <laughs> um, but VeChain VeChain's different baby it's different so anyway I'm going to cut this short before I have another coughing spell thanks to this cold uh, please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell I'd appreciate it and uh, you know just keep keep tuning in you know I, I, I do these little things uh, when they come up, I try to upload from during the day if something interesting comes up. Um, it usually takes forever to upload from the phone. Um, so I may do a video, it may not upload for three hours later. <coughs> um, and thanks for watching, and thanks for putting up with my rambling. And uh, I'm going to try to come up with some more coin stuff to look at soon. But I'm telling you right now, right now, this V-Chain thing, I'm telling you, $25 here, $50 there, put it in. Remember, when, when, you, when you put stuff into the market in fiat, it usually takes about five days for that ACH transfer to get over and that you could use that money. Even... Even though, like, on, say, Gemini or Coinbase, you can buy, they will let you buy coin in the interim while that money's clearing your bank. Um, you, can't, you can't send it off the exchange and do anything with other alts. So, you don't know what's going to happen a week from now. So, I mean, if you are trying to get fiat into something like this, do it, do it with the realization that it's going to be, like, five days before... You really can get something like V chain with it, okay? Um, that's important to know. Um, and that's that. All right, thanks for watching. I gotta run. New York City calls me. Bye.